Hey guys, Dr. Derry here, owner of Revision Health Services in Jacksonville, Florida, and I just finished a great week of treating clients. It was an awesome week, and one client in particular asked me a really good question related to disc degeneration, or DDD, and arthritis. And so they started doing some Googling after they found out they had it, and they wanted to know if they were the same. And while they have some similarities, they do have some differences. And so I want to go over those today. I want to go over in particular the top two things that they have in common. And I want to go over a couple differences. And guys, like always, if you find this information useful, please subscribe. I love giving this information away. I think it's worth knowing um, and great, great information to put out there because it can really help you change the course of your care. And so hang with me. I want to go over those top two things that they do have in common. Is disc degeneration or degenerative disc disease the same thing as arthritis? Here we go. Hey guys, so the question I got is arthritis the same thing as degenerative disc disease? And so I want to break that down for a second. So arthritis is more related to like synovial joints, uh, classic joints that we can think of, or like your facet joints in your back or your hip or your knee or your shoulder, where there's usually some joint fluid in there. And then you have these smooth surfaces that rub on one another. And that over time, those smooth surfaces start to become not quite as smooth, right? So they start to have a little bit of um, like jaggedness to the joint surface, maybe some bones spurs, maybe a little bone chip, or just changes to the joint surface. And we can see those with imaging, simple imaging such as x-rays or even MRIs, and you can start to feel some of those symptoms as well. But when we talk about the back in particular, right, arthritis in the back can be related to the facet joints or the vertebral bodies where you're just having some out abnormal bone growth or extra bone growth or just really changes of the joint surface that can lead to more of those arthritic symptoms. And so that's kind of arthritis where you have arthur, which is more R. So that first part of arthritis is more joint. Um, and then itis is the inflammation because that change in the joint surface of the rubbing and tugging and like just grinding together um, can create some inflammation. And, you know, you have this classic inflammatory um, feelings. And so achiness, um, stiffness, et cetera, et cetera, that feel better with movement usually, right? And then you have degenerative disc disease. And so people just had an x-ray or an MRI that showed, you know, maybe the disc height loss a little bit. And when you look at degenerative disc disease, we're actually just talking about the disc from your neck to your lumbar spine. And so they are these little, little tiny um, fibrocartilaginous structures that help absorb force and give our a back and our spine the ability to bend and rotate and, and absorb force, but give us a ton of mobility and become shock absorbers for the things that we love to do in our life. And so when you talk about disc degeneration and arthritis, what they do have in common is number one, it is typically age related. We typically see that we have more degeneration and more arthritis as things go on and, o and over time, right? And so, and another thing that they have in common is that they don't necessarily have to cause pain, which is really, really cool. And so you can have disc degeneration in multi-levels of your neck or your back and not have discomfort in those areas. And so the, the the way the spine works and the way that pain works is really interesting, but you can see all these changes on MRI that you have disc degeneration at multiple levels, but it doesn't mean that you have pain coming from those levels, which is really, really cool. And the same thing with arthritis. We're riddled with arthritis throughout our body as we age, we have tons of it, but that doesn't mean you have to have discomfort. And there's different levels of each, right? So you can have mild to severe. And so it's really, really just interesting to see how your body works. But when you have disc degeneration, right? While it does have in common is the more age related and it doesn't have to cause pain, disc degeneration, you know, can speaks to the actual, like the, um, the, the disc itself, but also the structure of it. And so you can have some fraying of it or the annulus, the outside of the, the disc that protects like the, the actual substance in the middle of it, um, the nucleus pulpus, pulpulsus, that's what it's called. And you can see some changes and it just changes in its um, structure and function. So it may not be quite as squishy as it used to be and it may not be as resilient as it used to be. And so it may be able to have a little bit of decrease in your spinal range of motion as you age. And then another thing that I also see with disc degeneration is that the disc height changes as well. And so people get a little shorter and they lose a little bit of height and that's very, very common as well. And so while they are both very common diagnoses, I, I, you know, I don't like to call them diseases because everybody has them, right? A disease can, implies that it can be cured. And while it can't be cured, the level of our pain and the, the, the amount of pain that you feel when you have that stuff is variable between everybody, right? Everybody experiences it a little bit differently. And so those are really, really cool things. Um, you know, and the disc degeneration can lead to a little bit more arthritis at times, because if you have a decrease in space of your disc, your whole vertebral column shrinks a little bit, which you can have 
little increased pressure and wear and tear of your disc or of your facet joints in your back. And so, like I said in the beginning, they do have a lot of things in common and they typically go hand in hand. Like when I see one, I see another, uh, but that doesn't mean you have to have discomfort. And the great news is, is the normal part of aging. And so one, they have in common that it's usually has to do with age. You spend more days on this earth, you're going to have a little bit more degeneration over time, right? Because our bodies are not made to last forever and they don't have to cause discomfort, which is really, really neat. So what we should call this stuff is just normal parts of aging. And so are they the same thing? Technically, no. Degeneration or disdegeneration arthritis are technically not the same thing, but they have a lot of connecting parts and they tend to come together. So you don't really treat them in very differently. Um, you know, when I treat the, the people with these type of diagnoses, usually the treatment's pretty close to each other. You know, maybe some differences here and there, but overall, not that bad of a thing to have. It just means that, you know, you've seen a, a couple moons in your, in your lifetime. So are they the same thing? No, but they have a lot of things in common. And guys, if you like this material, please subscribe to the channel, leave some comments. I love just engaging in some discussion. Otherwise, as always, stay, guys, stay healthy, keep moving, and take care of yourself.